Well, a very happy Friday to you. Uh, welcome to the podcast. It's the best bit. I know. And do you hear that? Oh, when do I come in? Whispering. <laughs> <laughs> it could only be everyone's favourite cousin. Uh, I'm so angry. Uh, I'm doing the whisper shouting thing I did to my parents when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Yap! Yay! 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 Let's have a party. We're all slightly <laughs> delirious. It's 7.41 a.m. <laughs> and, yeah, it's uh, time to have a party. Yeah, got some, uh, well, it's uh, kit news, isn't it? Tech tech kit reviews. Yes. I've got a pretty nice bit of tech, uh, David. Um, have you? Yeah, this is the new um, uh, Big Track. <laughs> um it's a very specked up uh i'm i'm surprised that you actually don't have i mean you know obviously you've you've talked about the big track i'm surprised that you haven't cuz you can still get them right i think you can davy one week ago <laughs> judy yeah. prunes gave yeah. me a big track no yes <laughs> is it For just Christmas the same 2.0 yes <gasps> oh. and it goes do 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 beep boop 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 it does exactly the same noises and everything. And Spike nice. has taken to it like a duck to soup. He's <laughs> like water, but stronger. Yeah. Uh, he's yes, uh, he's duck discovered w- brilliantly. He was like, um, what was it? He said, um, he said, oh, does this button operate the photon cannon? <laughs> it's like, I think you mean the laser thing that goes do do. <laughs> <laughs> the small LED oh. with the with the not even an LED effect. like a torch bulb from 1958. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's so brilliant. Wow! And we, how many commands can you program in? Up a lot. S- up. This will blow your mind. Up to right. sixteen. <gasps> David. Oh my god. Yes. I mean, you can basically send it to the shops to, and to back. the moon. <laughs> To the moon. <laughs> it's based on the same technology. Did you know this is a? Did you know that that the the computer they used for the the moon the first moon landing? Oh yeah, yeah. Had less processing power yeah. than those birthday cards that you open and play you a song. <laughs> but that doesn't Isn't surprise that me because because like up in the International Space Station, oh. they uh, the the computers that they have up there, they tend to have ones that are like Windows ninety five or yeah. or something like that because they only go with a system that is absolutely they know exactly what it's going to do. Yeah. So it's really reliable. It's very slow and rubbish. I mean that yeah. might not be true anymore. It's probably yeah. not Windows ninety five, but it is a very simple. I'm going to say right now, I think Windows 95 was the best (laughs) operating system ever. I can't believe this has turned into an actual serious conversation. I'm sorry, I was just doing a joke. (laughs) Shall we kick off? Let's kick off. So, so, um, so today, yeah. Oh, and it is today as well, isn't it? That's good. Um, (laughs) Do you know what today is? Friday. Yes, exactly. But uh, it's more than that. Marry. Goat day. It's close. <laughs> no Why way. does that sound like that's a real thing? No, uh, um, it's uh, it's give kids a smile day. Ah, oh. oh, that's, that's been nice. Invented by the dental association. It's uh, it. national, uh, also national bubblegum day. Rather uh, that opposite to that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that doesn't track. Uh, it's also national chocolate fondue day. None of this is working. It's not bubble right. Bubblegum and chocolate fondue uh, and dental work. It's National Wear Red Day. That's okay. to do with the heart. Uh, it's heart week, heart month or something in America. Uh, it's National Weather Person's Day. Why should they get a day? <laughs> Every day is their day. Thomas Schaffernacker can listen yeah. Yeah. with his shiny suits and it's no big deal. No big deal, just doing the weather. <laughs> uh, it's also World he's like Nutella those, Day. He's like one of those estate agents. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, come on in, brisk and breezy. Probably, uh, <laughs> probably not gonna, not gonna. Actually, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Where's not gonna be testing out the bed with any of you ones. So uh, <laughs> just get through this one as quick as possible. Yeah, a couple uh, that's of possibles this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of weather people that I think are, are close to estate agents. I see. Mm. That's a that's a good uh, a thread. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also BBC BBC weather persons. Yeah. I feel I'm I'm convinced there's some kind of like 80 year old seamstress who runs up the outfits that they wear in a sort of <laughs> 1950s ball gown style. Yeah. But sort of slightly on the cheap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I've made you this cocktail dress out of felt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're so bad, those yeah, outfits. Yeah, they are. They are. And they you are. know they haven't chosen. No one in their right mind no. would choose them. No. Shafts does. Schaffernacker goes down, you know. Shafts. He goes down Burton's <laughs> and gets the shiniest suit you can find because the girls, they love it, yeah? <laughs> so you can see it's very spacious. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, the bed's negotiable. Maybe you want to try it out with me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I shall be. Um, I should be watching him. Uh, yeah, you will. <laughs> watching a shiny little watching. bum. Um, Sorry. It's also. <laughs> it's also World Nutella Day. That's got to be a tradition as old as the hills, right? I mean, that's. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's even before it was invented. They had that, and uh, really lovely. It's National Shower with a Friend Day. So you oh, know, and I know we haven't seen friends for a while. Yeah, which so one would you have, Joey? It's, br bring them over. Yeah, and you I know, think, I think they're the available. Time. I think they're available. <laughs> Is that part of the thing on Cameo? You can you can actually also shower with a friend or whatever it's called. You know, the website where you can oh, the, hire the, celebrities, video messages, celebrity yeah. celeb VM. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look yeah. at that. So, so surely you can request a shower with with one of them. I, I would think Martin Roberts is probably up for anything now. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen his YouTube channel, but wow, we, wow, we, we need to cover it at some point on the podcast. Okay, good, good, good. I can imagine. It's uh, um, it's like A M A A I A P. You know, AMA is like Ask Me Anything, those yeah, sessions yeah, yeah. that people do online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His is uh, Ask Me Anything and I'll answer peevishly. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's extraordinary, the attitude on it. Wow. Yeah, not really feeling it today. Ugh. Right. Claire asks, <laughs> do you choose the music on Homes Under That? No, I don't. <laughs> it's like, wow, okay. <laughs> Does he do? Was he do a, a vlog then? Does he? Yeah. Or, oh, or, yeah. Or, yeah. 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 Oh, God. Which no one's <gasps> watching, but it's fun because you can see in the in his room. It's like his yeah. spare room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love any of that stuff. <laughs> and in the back, there's like two sort of like IKEA -y CD tower shelf shelving units. Right. And it's packed with like two music library CD stacks. Like it's just it's some music library or like. Oh, yeah, you've got your own production company, Martin Roberts. Can we send you our <laughs> library CDs? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And they're probably quite and old they're, ones. They'll be they're really like old. Chapel, chapel, because no one sends out CDs no anymore. CDs. Like, who would do that? <laughs> there will be some companies that are like, here's another five CDs yes. for your collection. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I remember when I worked at Radio 2, so this is library music, it's non-commercial music, and it's cheaper yeah. than, you know, you, you can't use the Beatles. Yeah. Um, but you, you probably can uh, use this, so you can use Bucks Fizz, but you'll light. have to pay a certain amount for Bucks Fizz. Or you can yeah. use library music, which is absolutely the kind of Aldi yeah. dairy fine equivalent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, musically, and yeah. uh, I remember when I worked at Radio Two, you know, you get sent these library music CDs all the time by yeah. different companies, and we had yeah. racks and racks and racks of them. Yeah. Um, and the only ones worth having really were the KPM ones. They were really yes. great, and all yes. the rest of them were terrible yeah and he has not got the kpm one has he not no the the dewolf ones uh yeah i remember there were some quite good ones there yes uh but, but i would um, say the editor's yeah. companion three and four right dick walter's work is yeah the greatest library music of all time i'm gonna put one of the I tunes mean, in if i can find one I mean, we can we could definitely do one on uh, we could do one on uh, library one. music yeah and there is some stunning uh, like stuff old, yeah, old, old library music. I mean, there's a lot of that that's been discovered recently and there's lots of um, labels that are re-releasing, uh, mm. yeah, the the stuff that was sort of at the time of, um, you know, the, um, what are they called? The radio, uh, Radiophonic Workshop and all that sort of time. Right. That sort of time. 
there's interesting, yeah. really interesting. I mean, you know, and there's there's like big names in jazz and everything doing yeah. stuff. And the, the yeah. best, the best. That's cool. The 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 absolute best stuff and I, yeah. stuff I've used over and over and over and over again because you cannot replicate it. I've tried and tried. And it's not yeah. possible. Yeah, it's nearly possible, but not really. Um, Atmosphere was a label, and they released a, a bunch yes. of CDs called the Atmosphere Archive. And they yes. found an archive library music going back to like the 30s, 40s and 50s from newsreels. Yes. And that stuff is gold. And I mean, <gasps> really beautiful, cool. lush orchestral arrangements. I mean, yeah. quality, quality stuff. It's gorgeous. Yeah, 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 yeah. That stuff's great. But that is nice. Yeah. That is Most nice. of it well, is just a guy who's, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah no, my, yeah. Uh, my nephew showed me, you know. Yeah. You know, it's got a pretty decent bit of kit. I've got an Akai SK-1000. <laughs> Uh, exactly it's all about the kit it's about the kit got to get the kit mate uh, anyway i'm so sorry so, i digress no, no, no. and digress no it's good it was a good digression so so in, in like you know following on from that talking about high quality music <laughs> what are we going into oh god <laughs> 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 so we've had uh, obviously you had christmas 2.0 last oh. week which would make this uh new year's day right this is new year's day now oh yes it is uh, happy new year <laughs> So uh, I'm thinking uh, around Christmas and New Year. Uh, I mean, you just want to party. That's what you want to do. That's all you want to do. That's all That's you want to do. do. I'm a party yeah, exactly. girl. I am a yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what do you do at a party? That's I the question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? A party. At a party. I like to party. I like. I like to party. I, I like, like to party. To party. <laughs> I like. I like to party. Uh, so. Um, I've got a suggestion of what you do at a party, so let's have a listen to the clue of zero zero. Oh god. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, I got yeah, as far yeah. as Dixo Dodo. Dis, yeah, Dixo. I like uh, to Dixo. Yeah, so, yeah, and Dodsiku Dio. I'm a Dixo Quim. <laughs> That's very funny. That completely so, took me by surprise. And there, there they are. So, um, yeah, so the best thing for a party, I mean, that's a party right there. Is Just look at those two. Yeah. Uh, is, um, is, is disco. It's the best thing for, for, for moving. Uh, so that was obviously D-I-S-C-O yeah. uh, by um, the French band Otto One. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I was thinking, oh, so they're French. Why do they uh, do it in English? And, and they basically did it in English. I mean, obviously, yeah, because yeah, then they'd sell it. Everywhere. But they did yeah. do it in French first. Oh. And I was thinking, oh, what was it? It was, yeah. It is. <clears throat> D-E-S-A-O. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, um, it's, the, it's the acronym with the uh, she is D. She's delirious. Delirious. Yeah. She's I. Irresistible. Ir incredible. Incredible. Well, actually, yeah, yeah I think there was different She's things in different S choruses. Super when sexy. Super, super, yeah, at one point she was super sexy. Yeah. Uh, but she's, she's not now. Superficial. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say superficial? Yeah, apparently. That's Crikey. what I said. She's C complicated. This is a, this is yeah. a disarmingly honest <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. assessment of this woman yeah. in disco form. Superficial is good, obviously. Yay, it's yeah. just superficial. Oh, yeah, man. she's D, <laughs> daddy issues, she's I. <laughs> I was thinking uh, if people wanted to tweet with uh, what would DIS, apply yeah. to them. Oh, Ooh, how are you, disco? That's brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Hashtag, me, I've got... how are you, I'm, disco? I love this. Uh, yeah, this how are you, brilliant. disco? Yeah. So for me, I've got uh, I am D Davy Davy. Yeah. I am I uh, <laughs> indescribable. I am S surreal. I am uh. C childish. I am O oh, oral. No, no, that's the wrong oral. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go for 
D. Dirty diapers. <laughs> I am I. Incontinent. <laughs> I am S. Prone to Careful. slurry. <laughs> I am C. Ate some curry. <laughs> I'm oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. So uh, yeah, definitely come in with your how are you disco. Yeah. Um, but um, what's your experience of disco? I want oh. to know. Well, I mean, obviously. Um, I mean, like for us. Yeah. Obviously, we're 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 past the time of disco. We we were alive at the time of disco, but it's not it wasn't really happening. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I I, uh, I mean, I guess the closest I ever came to the the margins yeah. of disco would yeah. have been my earliest disco, as you say. You know, it was the, yeah. sort of the the closing dregs of disco. And yeah, I yeah, went yeah. to a school disco. You know, school disco when I was, was at school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I was, I think, nine or ten. Ooh. And I bought a blouse, I think, from a charity shop. <laughs> and I put some makeup on. Oh my god! Yeah, and I went wow. like that, thinking this is this is how you do disco. Yeah, from my you like one of these understanding from here. seeing a couple of episodes of Top of Pops and reading Smash Hits. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I went, and it was catastrophic. So, oh dear, uh, oh dear, <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Oh God! What about you? D- disco uh, was your well, life, wasn't it? For the disco first, disco was my life. Disco Davy. Uh, D- yeah, <laughs> everyone knew. Me. Everyone knew. <laughs> you had your own comic uh, strip. No, school discos. Yeah, but the thing is, school discos weren't really disco, were they? School discos were just like, oh, we're gonna play. Some records some of in the, the hall. Some of the records. And then, and then, like, so we'd ask for, I remember having school discos, and we'd ask for stuff that we wanted, uh, and it was usually, the only thing that w- they'd have that we wanted would be something that was popular, but popular, like, 10 years before. But we wouldn't ask for disco, because we were, like, at that time, being into indie, indie you oh, know, you were cool. grungy stuff. See, you were always cool. I was never cool. So then cool. we asked you for punk. So we asked for, we asked for you. Tempo Tudor. So we had Tempo Tudor and we would pogo around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With the swords of a thousand men. You were so cool. Uh, How old were you? Oh, six. I mean, oh, no, this, yeah, no, this is, <laughs> this is like, you know, like proper teenage. School oh, I see. Oh, okay. What about clubbing? Did you do that? Yeah. I mean, everybody twice. has a time of. <laughs> uh, twice. Uh, I was the taxi. I, I was always see, the taxi, so I would go and right. pick people up because I could oh, drive. Wow. I learned to drive quite early, yeah. thanks to my parents. Yeah. And uh, so, and I sort of enjoyed it. I would basically stay in watching TV and having a great yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and then people would like phone me up, or we would have prearranged that I would go and get them out of the pub or the disco, well, so you, the, the club. So you wouldn't go, you'd just go home. and pick I just them enjoyed up. the drive home. <laughs> it was all too much to me. I'd heard story. There was a legend. The only club really within miles was called The Venue, and it was right. in New Cross. Yeah. And everyone talked about what happened on the back stairs at The Venue. Right. And I thought, well, I'll probably slip on the carpet <laughs> there and fall. <laughs> now I know what's been going on. <laughs> oh, I'm not going there. I went so there. You didn't... So I went there when I was like 25, years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as actually going to a club. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it was all right. Did you dance? What's your but signature I'm... move? Oh, that's a great question. I would say bent over, effectively twerking <laughs> and smacking my own ass. What about you? Yeah, you said that. I love that you're laughing. Like great joke. It's like no, no, no. That that really is what I do. <laughs> Yeah, no, actually, yes, I might yeah, have seen that. that. makes sense. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, my signature move would have been, like, just, like, like that. Because, okay. actually, uh, the only time when I would move would be as if I was, you know, influenced enough to do that. I, you know, because generally, I would remember going to clubs and uh, in the time of being a student and wearing a big long heavy coat because i was into big long yeah, heavy yeah. coats at the time yeah. you rocked with the big long on. heavy coats in the 90s yeah but the thing is you go in a club with a big long heavy coat i just look like a bouncer or a, a like a right. mafia or something hitman yeah. uh and i just stand at the side obviously not dancing because yeah. i didn't like any of the music they were playing uh but oh. then i would go to a a, a more trend a more 
you know, a cool uh, independent club. club. Yeah. yeah, cool club. Yeah. And, uh, and then eventually something would come on that I thought I really liked. And then I would uh, dance like I was about to fall over, which m- most of the time I was. <laughs> <laughs> But you did, I suddenly realised you did look like a hitman. It was it was a good look. Yeah. You had the, you had the yeah, long, long sort of trench coat and the, yeah, the long hair tied bag. It was very neat and sort of Italianate. It was actually yeah. It was quite mafioso. Yeah. It was a good look. It Bring wasn't it back. I'm growing my my hair out. Yeah. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh man. <laughs> Let's bring the nineties back. Let's start again. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so no, so hang on. So obviously we've we've gone off uh, off piste here, but yeah. so disco. I mean, yeah, the time I hope of disco this morning. Sorry, go on. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. The time of disco. I mean, it was so big. It was so oh, big. It was the best. It was it was crazy, uh, and you know, it had that moment where everybody reacted to it and went. You know, every, everyone did disco, and then everyone went, "Oh God, this is awful." <laughs> but it wasn't. And, it was great. I love disco. I mean, genuinely, well, I love disco. Well, let's see if there's if there's anything in this selection <laughs> to change my <laughs> mind. Change mind. <laughs> Go for it. So, uh, so the first I've got some I've got some master mixes basically. I've got some okay. uh, mega mixes oh, yeah. of stuff. Okay. So uh, each track I've managed to cram in uh, several versions of things. So the first uh, mega mix we're going to have is the example of a of disco versions of pre-existing songs. Oh, beautiful. Uh, so uh, this is just... Uh, uh, it starts off... I'm going to tell, I'm going to is, tell is you... Is Ethel like, Merman going to crop up in there? I hope not saying. Okay. I'm not saying. Um, uh, it, I'm going to tell you what the first like two are, and then we'll talk about the other ones afterwards. So the first... Okay. First thing is you wouldn't necessarily know uh, it's Herb Alpert. Okay. So after his great time of Spanish flea and jaunty yeah, yeah, yeah. trumpets uh, in the seventies, it now? was like, oh, what am I going to do now? Herb <laughs> goes do, disco. Better do a disco. <clears throat> and so he did a disco version of Rodrigo's Concierto <laughs> de Aranjuez. <laughs> I did a version of that. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I'll, I'll stick it in the thing. Hang on. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, that's what we're going to start with. And then after that, we've got something that's a uh, lovely seasonal disco. And then uh, from there, we'll we'll see where we go. But have a listen oh to... Uh, so I'm so excited. Herb. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good production value. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's Such Christmas 2.0. <laughs> this keep up keep up exactly why not Yeah. Stupendous. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. As someone who, you know, has made a lot of mixtapes <laughs> and done a lot of montages, <laughs> you know that that yeah. night on Bear Mountain yeah. was an absolute banger. 
<laughs> and I could tell because in that montage, it got yeah. twice as long as everything else because you couldn't bear to leave it. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you were making, you're like, no, we'll keep this bit because no, yeah, 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 because that's yeah, a yeah, banger. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what that was? I mean, that's uh, that for me is the highlight from an album called uh, I think the album is called Saturday Night Fiedler, and there he is, right. Arthur Fiedler. Did you have this so, album or did I have no. this album? Did you have it? No, I didn't have it. I think I have this album. Oh, so good. So good. So Let this me is... check. Wait, I'm going to check. Tell everybody. Okay, okay I'll tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is the Boston Pops Orchestra, which were famous for, um, and most people would know from John Williams conducting. John Williams conducted the Boston Pops and they did lots of, uh, oh my God. popular classical. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! Thank God he has got it. <laughs> yes, that is good. I got it. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, and on, also, on sorry, side, just, just while on. I was grabbing it, yeah. while I was looking for it, look what else I found that we should have featured and we will feature another time. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't have that. Disco erotica. 20 oh. sensual disco greats. Oh, do you know, I think I did find that, but I I, 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 I just threw it away. <laughs> oh, yeah, all it is is, like... It's yeah, just, it's nothing. It's just, it's just tracks that they've yeah. licensed. Yeah, it's just some disco, isn't it? It's not actually it's, there's nothing, special. <laughs> no. It's from the exciting no. new film Erotica, from oh. that undisputed king of erotic entertainment and all over human turd Paul Raymond. Oh, I may have to burn this. <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to be delving into sexy disco uh, a bit later, actually. In oh. fact, in the in the um, Patreon, uh, oh, one, amazing. I felt like it's not, yeah, not... that needs a paywall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Arthur Fiedler. So basically, I was just talking about Boston Pops and uh, John Williams. Is what you yeah. generally think of Boston Pops, John Williams. Yeah. Uh, where he would do all the all the great classics and his works as well <laughs> yeah. uh, but before hey, that steady on now hang on yeah. a second now. Whoa. but before that arthur fiedler uh was wow. conductor of boston pops for for like 30 years or something really? um yeah 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 so this is his last album this is the last Amazing. album with the pops saturday night fiedler where he basically thought uh, the quote from the from the liner, which you will have, <laughs> says uh, he says, "I knew that the youngsters had done it again. Disco, a marvelous, insistently <laughs> rhythmic dance form to which all manner of music can be adapted, from Bach to the Bee Gees." <laughs> Why not? Uh, and so they, yeah, on that album they do have their versions of uh, of Bee Gees, and uh, but then the the other side is all Bach, I believe, uh, disco Bach. I think, um, um, I, yeah, it's a whole disco Bach suite. Yes, Bachomania. Yeah. Yeah. Based yeah. on Takata and Fugue in D minor and Air for the G string. So it's worth, that's worth obviously um, digging out. That's, and, a, checking yeah, that's out. a long listen. Well, maybe we'll do yeah. that on a watch along one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Depending on how everyone behaves. So, <laughs> uh, so, that was, uh, yeah. so that was Saturday Night Fiedler. Um, and then after that, we had just a little snippet from this album, uh, oh, which is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, the soundtrack album. Because. What? There was a film. Did you know this? What? There was a film uh, in in 1978 starring the Bee Gees, Peter Frampton. Uh, I'm going to go on to the list of, of who was in it uh, in a minute. But so it's, it's, it's a whole film. It looks amazingly bad. It looks this is a watch incredible. Along. Definitely <laughs> a watch along. Uh so it's taking but, all the songs the from Beatles. Sgt. Peppers. Not the Beatles at all, no. It's taking all the songs, for, but it was produced, that, well, the album was produced by George Martin. Uh, and the so the film and the soundtrack features the Bee Gees, Peter Frampton, Alice Cooper, uh-huh. Earth, Wind, Earth, Wind and Fire, who actually, I have to say, the Earth, Wind and Fire version of Got right. to Tune to My Life, that's pretty cool. I bet it's amazing. That's pretty cool. Oh, I think um, I've heard that, actually. I think that was the only thing that jumped. Right, yeah, yeah. Sort of the out fun, of funky the, the version world of, of it. Yeah. Got to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it also starred uh, Steve Martin. What? Frankie Howard. What kind of unexpected Donald tax bills were creeping in? <laughs> and George Burns. 
really weird. The Steve Need Martin version of, uh, of um, what's he called? Mr. Kite, whatever it's called. Mm. Being for Ooh. the benefit. Oh, it's uh, yeah, mm, weird. So uh, <laughs> the the critics were very uh, uh, kind. Of course, um, uh, one of them uh, called it an utter travesty, and uh, someone else. <laughs> I've got a good quote: <laughs> Two million people bought this album, which proves that P.T. Barnum was right, and that euthanasia may have untapped possibilities. Wow! It's wow! Nice, really? isn't it? And it was the only. It was the first record to return platinum. With four million copies <laughs> taken off store shelves and shipped back to distributors. <laughs> My first album went return platinum. That's brilliant. Return Isn't that amazing? Platinum. I mean, what an incredible. I mean, but it did make me think of obviously you've got your disco version of um of of songs there. What I mean disco was so, that's the thing, disco was so versatile. What? Mm. What could you not make a disco version of? I mean, I was trying nothing. to think. I There's thought nothing. maybe Schoenberg would be tricky. <laughs> uh, and, and then I thought maybe Vaughan Williams, uh, Lark you know, ascending. Lark Ascending. Yeah. That might be hard. Um, and then I thought, you know, maybe some really sort of out there. <laughs> you could do it. He's still good. He's yeah. still good. Uh, some out there bands um, uh, like The Residents, but then actually they did make two disco versions of their own stuff anyway. So uh, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing that can't disco be disco. Is king. I mean, I love. Yeah. I honestly, I love disco. Yeah. It's the best party <laughs> dance music. Uh, well, you're gonna like the next selection. So the next selection we have is for the kids. It's uh, kids disco. Oh boy. Uh, uh, and there'll be some stuff that is familiar to you. Definitely. Um, but uh, we're going to start off with uh, the first one, which is a combination of disco and stories. Why not? Sure. Uh, so this is called Disco Musical Stories. In fact, have I got a picture of it there? Yeah, Disco Musical Stories, released on cassette there. Um, uh, this is by Sharda. Yeah. Is that... Uh, yeah, Sharda, who was uh, an Indian playback singer in the 60s and 70s. And I didn't really know what that meant. And actually, no. an Indian playback singer is basically, it's the singing in the rain thing. It's the woman who does the <sighs> singing for the for the Bollywood, for the films. Right, right, right. So she never appeared, but she's, you know, she's the voice of many, many films. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, she's great. But, um, yeah, so they, they decided, let's do this album of uh, of children's stories but let's make it disco why not why not so i've got a little clip from um uh, jack and the beanstalk uh and then we move into some familiar territory so let's have a listen to oh. two <laughs> Listen to two exciting stories. Yes. <laughs> Yippee. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Five old bum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Oh. Ah! Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Jab for Goofy, watch out for Goofy. He's a disco demolition. Watch out, watch out for Goofy, watch out for Goofy. We love him, but he just can't tell. Watch this, man. <laughs> yeah. You picked the right bit. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the back stairs of the venue. <laughs> Watch out for Goofy. Watch out for Goofy. He's a disco demolition. What? And he had to be put down. <laughs> oh, he must be there now. Has anybody ever 
Oh man, yeah. listen to those horns, yeah. listen to that bass. Oh wow. That's look, good. Can I just in a yeah. moment of sort of self analysis, I'm sorry, it's a bit yeah. self indulgent, but yeah. how how open are my synaptic pathways to <laughs> watch out for Goofy, he's a disco demolition. I mean, <laughs> under a second and I was singing along. That was no, that was so quick. It, it wasn't like some kind of oh uh, let me just uh, uh. No, no. No. You started almost like you knew it was coming. <laughs> That's, um, that was incredible. It was one of my favourite albums as a kid. And again, Julie Prunes, my great benefactor. There it is. Uh, she got me the album. Uh, oh. She found it on, on CD, no less. Wow. And yeah, it, I mean, it's it's a it's a popular, it's a cult favourite. It's it was it was released on vinyl for World Record Day last year. I oh, think. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can so believe you can, that. You can you can get it. it it's got some um, big tunes in there. Big tunes. There's yeah. something about like. In terms of sort of the whole kind of disco funk stuff, and what's interesting is hearing yeah. those iterations, which are sort of they're not they're certainly not first off the blocks no. with disco at all, but there's still no. a degree of um, complexity musically yeah. to them. Yeah, and I feel oh, like they... it's it's sort of like you know like uh, a lot of fast food, the the yeah. sort of the flavour palette. The spectrum of different flavors within fast yeah. food. Yeah. There's something like 150 different flavors in like McDonald's or something. Yeah. Whereas the human palate can taste 5,000. Like, right. it's this reductive, let's get down to the absolute core things that work and right. just give you that, you know, rather yes. than any kind of complexity. And I feel like right. that sort of happened musically with disco yeah. and dance music. I feel like a yeah. lot of that yeah. kind of stuff. And, you know, something like Uptown Funk. Y yeah. You know, a tune like that. It's almost yeah. like a pentatonic scale. You know yeah. what I mean? If you were doing yeah. it in C, it would be like C, D, E flat, F, yeah. G, B flat, B natural, C. Like, yeah. if you just play those notes, yeah. you'll do something funky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like any yeah. of that. Yeah. It's sort of, it's yeah. got so reductive. Yeah. Do you agree? Am I just oh, yeah, completely. like a middle aged no, man? No, 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 completely. Because actually, because disco then obviously, obviously paved the way for dance music in general. And it's basically that thing of like, oh, hang on, it just needs to have a beat that is like, yeah. that is primal, that is what is getting you moving. Yeah. Uh, you know, and we'll, we'll, you know, put some funky stuff over it. But obviously, you know, disco was had moments of complexity in terms mm. of like the big arrangements with horns and, and everything. Yeah. And then... And then dance music was like, well, let's just like make it really simple, uh, yeah. you know, in a lot of cases. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's stripping it back to, yeah. to what you need to dance. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite disco track ever? Oh. Ooh, I, I'll tell you uh, mine while you think. Yeah, go on. Odyssey, Native New Yorker. It's fantastic. It's immaculate. Everything about it is perfect. Do I know that? Yeah. <laughs> Native New Yorker. Uh, yeah. So you've been it's listening to a lot of disco. And it modulates. At the end, it just starts doing this mad sort of half-tone modulation up and down. And you go, yeah. whoa. It's almost like getting musical vertigo. You're like, where are we going? Oh, God, we're back. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, it again. Yeah, yeah. And then they do it again. They're like, yeah. everything about it is just... Massive and the arrangement yeah. is gorgeous, yeah. Full orchestra, like just oh, oh. nice, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was it was the time of, of lush, lush arrangements, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll keep thinking, but um, I mean, a lot of these ones would be contenders, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, but uh, but Mickey Mouse, <laughs> I was gonna uh, say, the, the other thing, if I did said you, macho did, duck from Mickey yeah, yeah. Mouse disco, <laughs> <laughs> did you know? Uh, that there was a, a cartoon music video for the whole of Mickey Mouse Disco. What? Yeah. What? I was thinking, there's, your watch along has just got m much longer. You've got <gasps> uh, Sgt. Peppers and there is, 
there's a car- compilation cartoon music video of the Mickey Mouse Disco album. What? Released in 1980. What? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I could bring that to you. That's I mean, it, uh, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and um, I mean that record. Yeah, yeah. So this version of "It's a Small World," mm. uh, Fat Boy Slim used uh, on "Praise You," apparently. Wow. I can't work yeah. out where that is, but anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, so then we moved to Sesame Street, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and that was an album that was made. Uh, Robin Gibb even appeared on that album, Amazing. Uh, and uh, and Joe Raposo was involved, so it was good. Yeah, was exactly. Good. Yeah, <laughs> don't be hating uh, on the disco. No, that was great. Um, so so now we come to uh, what I've called a quiz. So this is going to be, I thought the best thing I could do in terms of a quiz with disco is put together. A lot of things. I found quite a lot of disco versions yeah. of TV and film music. Oh, beautiful. And I've put them together in a big old mega mix. Oh. And what I want you to do is to guess what the TV and film theme is before it becomes really obvious. Because, oh, okay. you know, with disco, there is that thing of like the introduction. Yeah. Could be like half the record. You got a little bit <laughs> of like building. There. Yeah. We're building. We're building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then here's the theme. Mm. Yeah. So um <laughs> I gotta tell you, you know, the very opening bars of Disco Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Dun 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 woo woo oh, that's <laughs> that's a long build up as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they could have done that for a good eight minutes, I'd be yeah. honest. <laughs> There's probably a version out there. Yeah. That is <laughs> well, it's time for me to do my own tape to tape yeah. dub edit. Yeah. Yeah. 20 minute version. Yeah. Um, so I want you <laughs> to call out uh, as we go. See if you can guess what these are as we go. Okay. On number three. Okay. Uh, kids from Fame. Fame? <laughs> no. No. Damn it. Police Five. No. Oh, it sounds like it. Pebble Miller One. <laughs> Oh, of course it is. <laughs> of course it's Doctor Who. I'll go through. I'll go through what they all are afterwards. But yeah. Uh, what's this? Uh, come on. Uh, uh, oh, Doctor Who! Uh, yeah. James Bond. <laughs> Oh, very cool. Yeah. Just a little bit off. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, what's oh. this? Oh, Come on. Oh, 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 oh. It's not yeah. singing in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> it's not singing in the rain. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, wow. It's amazing, isn't it? In the wren. Oh. Oh, uh. 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 Oh, there's a clue there. The A team. I don't know. Oh my god. (laughs) Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Because suicide is. Oh. (laughs) Oh. No, this is quite hard. Yeah, all right, all right, come on. Uh, yeah, do it, just do it. No, no, no. <laughs> all right, now. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it's not English, it's American. Yeah. What is this? Oh, uh, you're, uh, you're, I'll... That was a clue. Okay, what's this? 
Uh, Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it kind of turns into Night Rider. <laughs> A little bit. I mean, I've never seen it, David. I know. It's true. <laughs> oh, yes. Come on. What's this? Big Ben. <laughs> the six o'clock news. This is a good one. We're getting there. We're getting there. I have no idea. What's this? <laughs> what is it? I'll tell you afterwards. You'll, you'll. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What's this? Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. right? Oh, God. It's really hard to detach it from what's happening. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, God. So I shall reveal all. I knew there were some, some hard ones there. Um, so the ones that where actually even when the theme comes in you can't really work out what it yeah. is either because it's quite obscure or you'll, you'll kick yourself I know um, so, I'm kicking myself um, now so we started off with Mankind uh, 1978 uh, with uh, their version of the Doctor Who theme music uh, which was I think their only hit got to number 25 uh, <laughs> uh, and then we went straight into the uh, disco version of James Bond from the Spy Who Loved Me soundtrack. Wow! Why so not? the Spy Who Loved Me uh, was Marvin Hamlish rather than John Barry, right? And it was 1977, so uh, the disco they was king. yeah, disco was king. So they made a track <clears throat> called Bond 77, which was uh, the disco version of the James Bond theme. So yeah. Marvin Hamlish was. Uh, was doing that. But uh, I feel like you can tell when it's not authentic disco done by a disco aficionado. Yeah. That was someone trying to do disco. Yeah, he said, Hamlish said that it was influenced by You Should Be Dancing by the Bee Gees. Yeah, but it so wasn't was just trying You Should to, Be Dancing, no, exactly. was it? <laughs> then we had the incredible Sheila B. Devotion. Yes. With Singing in the Rain. In the Rain. Wow. Please, in the Rain. Uh, in the in the Ren. singing in the Ren. <laughs> in the Ren. Uh, uh so yeah Sheila B devotion um uh fronted by the french singer Sheila uh, um hence Ren. <laughs> uh and uh yeah they recorded two albums mm. uh and uh this version of singing in the rain got to number 11 in the uk charts Wow, in those days it was so easy. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? 1978. Uh, then after that we had the beautiful version of Mash. the theme from MASH yeah. by the New Markets, huh? which uh, I can't find out a lot about. There was a band called The Markets, and then there was The New Markets. Of course. Um, when Donny had to go and ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> Getting married. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, yeah. Suicide is painless. That's the, mm. that's begging for a disco version. <laughs> so, um, and then we went to this is the one that you stumped you a bit. But at the end, it says, "Yeah, yeah, disco Lucy," because it was the theme for "I Love Lucy." <sighs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. By the Wilson Play Street Band, uh, which was a group of studio musicians put together by record producer Trevor Lawrence for the purpose. Of recording a disco version of I oh, Love I Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> Definitely. That is the only reason that they existed. Imagine. Uh, and bizarre, I mean, you know, this, that record producer, he was part of uh, Stevie Wonder's uh, band, played on Songs in the Key of Life. 
I, I don't see the link there. Uh, <laughs> that's incredible. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit of a, a legend, the I Love Lucy disco theme. And then we had, as you say, Jaws by yeah. Lalo Schifrin. Wow. Come on. That's pretty funky. Yeah. That was uh, that was released as a as a 12 inch only uh, with, I think, the same <laughs> thing on both sides. Inch. No, <laughs> no, you will have the 12 inch. It peaked at number 14 in the UK charts. That's yeah. bonkers. Yeah. Then this one stumped you a bit. It was the theme from The Incredible Hulk. Oh, okay. da, 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 da. oh yes, uh, yes. And this was the disco version by the composer himself, by Joe Harnell. Um, wow. His It came out on the um, soundtrack of all the music from The Incredible Hulk. Uh, beautiful piano music there. And then finally... Da, 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 da. What was that? That oh, was the music from... Crossroads. Alien. <laughs> oh, wow. That is the theme that you really don't hear that often, but... No. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Someone thought, let's do a disco version of some Jerry Goldsmith from a, mm. you know, iconic... <sighs> Horror yeah. film. I really yeah. let you down there. I'm so, sorry. No, <laughs> it was hard. It was hard. I mean, I was thinking when I heard it, I don't know if I'd have picked that out of my head until someone said, oh, yeah, that's the music from Alien. Yeah. Um, so there's a band called Nostromo. Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it probably another. got quite high in the charts. I don't probably, know. yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. So some good... Good versions there. I don't know, um, you know, what um, other TV themes. If uh, if people have got other suggestions for maybe some TV themes from from today that we could turn into disco discify. versions. Oh. I could, yeah, I'd have a go. Definitely, I'd have a go. I, just, I don't. Know. I feel like you and I. I mean, I, and I don't feel like this because you do enough work for this podcast. <laughs> but it would be fun to have a kind of weekly challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's something to do, but you've got plenty going on in your life. <laughs> Let's not. Yeah. Um, Let's put together an orchestral yeah. version of... Uh... <laughs> when I've got, you know, ten times the patrons. Yes. And, you know, you and I can take a wage from this. Yes. Well, you know, we, we'll we can we can um, pull some more in with uh, with the promises for this uh, one. Oh, yeah. But uh, before we get to that, yes. Uh, so we've got one more track uh, for the main podcast. Yeah. And uh, so we've had uh, disco versions of songs. Yeah. Now we're going to have versions of disco songs. So uh, oh, okay. I've got here a little mega mix of people doing their own versions of disco i mean you know obviously oh, it's a you reverse big the stream i love it I reverse the photon proton photon uh, and cannon yeah i've uh, released the polarity on the on the um amazing oh i can't remember um actually there's one point where doctor who actually got that wrong i think i can't remember which doctor who it was but he actually sort of they just sort of muddled it up well they never did coming. retakes did they uh, no, because in those days, you know, studio time was really, really, really locked down by the unions, and quite so that bad was, too. The, <laughs> and Tom well, that Baker's, was the William Hartnell. No, no, that was William Hartnell. I, I, yeah, I heard you telling that story uh, <laughs> on the podcast. Sorry, oh, you it see. was William Hartnell. It's way back then. He he was the one who said just swear. Just was swear. that William and Hartnell said that? Yeah, I William was Hartnell Baker. was the one who said who said just just swear, and then we have to do it again. <laughs> Amazing. So there'd be some amazing Brilliant. takes if so they kept all of them. I'm not, I'm not, and I knew I'd reached this point, and I knew it would be quite soon. I'm, I'm <laughs> looping on the podcast now, but not only that, I'm looping with wildly inaccurate stories. So, <laughs> well, then it's not looping, is it? Because it's correction. <laughs> no, no, it was inaccurate the first time. So <laughs> it's and then addendums. I was about to do it again. It's addendums. Um, oh. So no, okay. So listen, we've got yeah, um, the, the story about Tom Baker's from pop bitch and it's the line tom's putting it in now that that's the <laughs> that's the tom baker story but <clears throat> uh, 
I don't know that one. No. Um, so, uh, so we've got some versions here, and we, we start off with. I'll tell you what we start with, and then we'll, we'll listen and okay. hear what the rest of it is. We start off with the Ramapo Valley Chorus, of course, uh, from New Jersey, and Perfect. a beautiful uh, a cappella version of uh, of a disco classic. So let's have a listen. Here they are. Listen to the ground. There is movement all around. There is something going down, and I can feel it. Ninch, ninch, ninch. On the wave of the air, there is dancing out there. If it's something we can share, we can steal it. Ninch, ninch. Yeah. And that sweet city woman, she moves through the line, controlling my mind. Who needs a beat? This is awesome. <laughs> it's good. I love that. <laughs> and I'm going around picking things you can live me in. Is this you? It's not me. This I, is so I promise. <laughs> this is a professional release. That's uh, wow. That's. It is quite me. It That's is quite me. Very definitely. you. But uh, you would have done it better. You would have done a more musical <laughs> shriek at the top there. Yeah, well, you know, it was the 70s. I think they probably uh, yeah. <laughs> were just having a great time. Um, so the... the, the yeah, I loved the that. That's that good. choir. Was... The, the choir. They're yeah. good, aren't they? They're groovy. The, That's irony a whole medley. Being, the irony being, of course, I'm like, yeah. we should put some beats under that. Yeah. <laughs> So that was the point. Yeah, was the that point. could really rock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then after that, we had the Quartet Anima. Oh, there they brilliant. are. Foxy Quartet from the, Romania. The, there's always a, a Foxy Quartet, isn't there? That, yes, it's, there's um, always. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, wear, we like to play disco music yeah, as well. We wear, as, we as wear the, clingy, the clingy black <laughs> leather. And uh, yes. actually, I studied making, for 13 years at the Conservatoire de... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, probably just a really great violinist realising yeah. I need to be part of a foxy quartet. I got to sell some if records. I'm, if I'm going to shift some product, <laughs> I need to hook up with my foxy friends yeah, and we'll exactly. make a quartet. And yeah. Because before I was just in Covent Garden, you know, just busking. And, yeah. you know, it was good, but... Uh, now I can pack an auditorium with middle-aged yeah. men. Yeah. We'll do Eine kleine Nacht music and then we'll do Staying Alive. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and then we will do the theme tune from Titanic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we will do so the diamond music by the Carl Jenkins. With the disco beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm sure they do that now. Um, so uh, after that, we had the officially released. <laughs> we honestly, should form a Foxy Quartet. We should. We've got look. We get my brother on. You yeah. can pick one of yours. <laughs> right. Oh wow. And we'll be a wow. Foxy the Foxy Apps Quartet, <laughs> and we'll wear the tight black leather. I'll have to wear pleather. Pleather. <laughs> yes, it's taking the ter- the definition of Foxy to it to another level. <laughs> It's just sort of the stuff the foxes leave in your garden. Yeah. <laughs> will be the brown patches on your yes. lawn. The brown patches. Uh, yeah, a friend of mine posted some uh, video of foxes in his garden. Yeah. Uh, they were making a terrible noise uh, <laughs> because because they seem to be stuck together. That's the oh, problem. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The stuck so, foxes. Uh, stuck foxes. Stuck foxes. Um, come on, let's come on. <laughs> We need to do this. Is that my the brother, name of the my brother can play the violin, <laughs> and I own a violin. Do you? Yeah. You know, I used to play the violin. Well, the thing is, that's what? we got three violins you, now. That's what? not a quartet. But I can't play, so it will it will work. 
I'll be on kazoo. So no, listen. I'll be on melo- melodica, right? <laughs> yeah. Come on, we should make a foxy quartet. We should do the boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and like tossing our hair, you know, in the yeah, 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 yeah. Bam, 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 bam. yeah slow motion, moody, yeah, moody yeah, shots yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, li- listen. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll save that. We'll save that in the world. You need to get a sibling on. That's your challenge for next week. Get a sibling on. <laughs> you, that's the challenge. Uh, no, so like, listen. I'll tell you about the last thing we heard there, which was the Temple City Kazoo Orchestra. That was right. from an album. Uh, from the Temple City Kazoo Orchestra, which were made up of uh, also several members of Stevie Wonder's band. Amazing. <laughs> so Stevie's Wonder's band, Stevie, Stevie Wonder's band, had a great time performing forming a group to play disco versions of I Love Lucy, forming a group you, to play you, kazoo versions of disco. <laughs> do you feel like you know maybe like every recording session with Stevie Wonder? Yeah. You know the whole band's there and they're playing along, yeah. and then there comes a moment. When Stevie Wonder says, can I maybe have a quick go on the drums? And the whole yeah. band is like, all right, let's go. Might as well go. <laughs> off. That's it. You know, I mean, it's yeah. probably the most underemployed band uh, yeah. in history. <laughs> yeah. Could yeah. I have a quick go on the bass? Uh, yeah. All right. Should we go and make uh, yeah. an album next door? Yeah, all yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. I got some kazoos. Is there any other work around? <laughs> <laughs> So that's a whole album of uh, of kazoo, kazoo versions. Uh, it's that's, quite something. That would be a testing listen, I think. Yeah, I think it possibly is. <laughs> uh, they they appeared on TV at one point. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that is that wraps up the uh, first uh, slice of of disco. But I will tease, oh, and I will also say, mm. oh no, no, let me uh, uh, that. Um, I've had more uh, submissions of uh, home audio. Amazing. And I would love some more so that we can uh, have enough for a, for a first podcast with some home audio. And yeah. I've had some great stuff. And I've had stuff from uh, people when they were very young. And I've had stuff from people two years ago. Amazing. Uh, like like just a recording that they made or like a few years ago of uh, them performing at something. So anything, I will reiterate, anything, and it can be, you know, from a long time ago, it can be a recording you made last week, it can be something you recorded of somebody else, just anything you think, this is a fun bit of audio that I have. Mm. I'm reading a story when I was a child, uh, singing a song, all these things that you and I did. Uh, I'm realising, like, we need, I need to sort of do a bit of uh, obtuse gamelan playing or something. Yeah. And we need to call this something like the Glistening Project or Ooh. the Blistering Project. I don't this, know. Li- I'm t- this is my fee glover moment. This is my job for life. Right. This is the pension, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Um, so, but please do send me any audio you have, even if it's something that you recorded off the television and you think this is fun. Anything. I don't we'll yeah. take anything. Um he so will take it's, anything. It's, it's weird Uncle Naughty Davy. Cousin Davy. No, Cousin Davy. Not, <laughs> Cousin Davy, not today. Cousin Davy, not today at gmail.com. Okay. Um so uh yeah please do send me. Um but yeah uh, for our um extra special uh slice of disco we have Sexy disco, we mm-hmm. have celebrity disco, oh. and we have around the world disco. So oh. some good stuff to come. Sounds so you know, you're missing out if you don't sign up. Uh, it's Tom never too late, but now would be a good time. Uh, if you yes. go to patreon.com slash not today pod, uh, you can join for as little as two dollars a month. That is half a premium coffee. Um, <laughs> although that won't get you the podcast. I realize. You do need to buy the premium coffee. Five right. bucks, five bucks a month, yeah, um, which is still less than two hundred pounds. Um, yeah, make your own coffee. You don't need to spend that on on. Yeah, like, you spend know, it, spend it on top quality yeah. content. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, well, we'll see you. We'll see you on the other side of the paywall. With yes, did you tra- <laughs> did you tease a little erotic disco as well? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well then. Well yeah. then. <laughs> In the meantime, the brown patches is forming and will be touring. Four yaps. <laughs> the ground patches.
one big noise. Uh, stuck foxes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Love you, Davey. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, people okay. should follow you. You're at Dave Yap on the Twitter. You're yes. all over the YouTube. Dave Yap and Kettle of Fish Bristol. Yes. Yes. We'll find That's all of your amazing videos. <laughs> Check them out. Yay. We'll see you next time. Yay. <laughs>